Now at six, he's the leading Democrat in the race to unseat Florida Senator Marco Rubio. But what was Congressman Patrick Murphy's experience as a small businessman? Tonight, in part two of our investigation, in the wake of the BP oil spill, Murphy's company launched a new line of vessels that promised to leave others in its wake. Here's CBS4 investigator Jim DeFitti with what he found about the man who wants to be Florida's next U.S. senator. When Deepwater Horizon exploded in 2010, fouling the Gulf of Mexico with millions of gallons of crude oil, nearly 7,000 boats were pressed into service here off the shores of southern Louisiana. Patrick Murphy owned three of them, and to hear his company tell it, they were the best boats in all the water. Known by the initials NSRRV, the vessels were supposed to be the most effective, economical, and reliable boats in the industry. In press releases, brochures, and marketing material issued in 2010, Murphy, through his company Coastal Environmental Services, made impressive claims, saying the boat was capable of collecting 100% of heavy oil, 90% of oil sheen, while effectively collecting and storing tar balls. One press release dated October 13, 2010, bragged that Coastal Environmental had launched a new line of oil skimming boats that promises to leave conventional skimming vessels in its wake. As proof, Murphy's company repeatedly noted the vessels were tested and proven at the highly respected research facility known as OMSET. A brochure includes a chart showing the boat's effectiveness with the heading results as tested at OMSET. We wanted to verify these claims for ourselves, so we called the folks at OMSET, but they told us they have no record of testing Murphy's vessel. Here's Dave Davidis, the head of testing for OMSET. I don't recognize the skimmer or the test. Davidis has worked at OMSET for 24 years and been the director of testing for the last 15. CBS4 News provided Davidis a list of businesses, either directly or indirectly related to the boat, including Coastal Environmental Services, Coastal Construction, as well as the shipyard which built the boat, Director. There was no company here by any of those names as far as 2010, um, yeah, we didn't see that vessel. Press for a response, the Murphy campaign now admits the coastal environmental vessels were never tested at OMSET. CBS4 News has learned Murphy was relying on a test from 1978, five years before he was even born, that examined part of the technology used in the skimmer. And Davidis now suspects the demonstration video posted on Coastal's Facebook page in 2010 was actually from that 1978 OMSET test. Patrick Murphy declined our request to discuss the issue on camera. His campaign released a statement. Patrick worked with a shipyard to put an innovative skimming vessel into use, improving it for use in the Florida Keys. The shipyard guaranteed that the oil cleanup technology had been thoroughly tested. The results of these tests were reflected in Coastal Environmental Services marketing materials. The shipyard declined to comment on the testing. And then there is this press release, which notes, Coastal Environmental Services specializes in hurricane, tornado, flood, earthquake, fire, and other disaster remediation. Coastal Environmental Services extended its disaster recovery business unit to include oil skimming and cleanup efforts after the Deepwater Horizon oil spill. At the time the press release went out, Coastal Environmental Services had been in business less than three months, and the Deepwater Horizon oil spill was its first disaster. Reporting from St. Bernard Parish in Louisiana, I'm Jim DeFeedy, CBS4 News. Now, Congressman Patrick Murphy's campaign has responded to our investigation. You can find that and more of our reporting at CBSMiami.com.